All right. Good evening. My name is Nathan Page, and I am the middle school art teacher. I'm here to uh, introduce you to myself, to tell you a little bit about my class, and to tell you what your students uh, should expect over the coming year. So I've put a PowerPoint together that I'm going to share with you, and hopefully that'll answer any questions that you may have. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right. So now I can go into our PowerPoint presentation. And if it'll let me go. There we go. So this presentation is about my class again. That's uh, middle school 2D studio art. Who am I? Uh, as I said, my name is Nathan Page. Um, I'm really excited to start another great year here at Baldwin Middle Senior. Um, art has been a, life, a lifelong passion of mine. And after serving for 13 years in the Navy, I completed a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Communication Design at Eastern Washington University and my Master's in Teaching and Secondary Education at Whitworth University. This is my fourth year teaching at Baldwin. So over the coming years, your students will use traditional media, such as pencil, colored pencils, marker, and paint, to develop and create works of art. Our specific focus will be a deep dive into the elements of art and principles of design, which provide a foundation for future artistic study. Specific techniques and artists will be used as reference for projects. Students will read and write about these techniques and artists in relation to assigned projects. Students will learn about aesthetics, application, artistic process, composition, contrast, craftsmanship, and most importantly, drawing skills in order to create works of art. Students will also learn how to observe and talk about works of art using Feldman's four-step method to critiquing art. So how to ter turn in work? Um, I know as students are coming uh, back from a day on, day off to the, the hybrid model, uh, there's some, some confusion. So this year I'm allowing work to be turned in two ways. The first way is physically turning into class into my inbox. Uh, I show students where that's at. That's the easiest way to do it. Two would be to photograph or scan the work and then submit it in focus. I've created a, a, uh, a PowerPoint on how to submit work in focus. That is in Teams. Uh, depending on whatever class uh, your child was in Teams, they can go into that classroom and click on files in the general channel. <clears throat> and they should see that PowerPoint in there. I'll also uh, post it to focus um, once we are uh, we start dissolving the teams, so students can also see how to do that if they still want to do that. How to contact me? So the best way to contact me is definitely via email, and my email address is pagein at duvalschools.org. My direct classroom phone number is 904-455-1913. We do have a classroom website. I try to update it biweekly. I'm not always the best about it, but hopefully at least at least twice a month, once a month in a not perfect world. But the address is pageartroom.weebly.com. My goal is to, by the uh, beginning of the second quarter, to start having student work in the gallery online so you can log in and see uh, some of your students' work and then other students in the class. Uh, as far as emails and phone calls are concerned, my goal is to respond within 24 hours on school days. Tutoring. So if a student needs additional help or tutoring, they need to schedule a time with me after school. They need to make sure they let me know exactly what they will be working on, what they need help on, and uh, the plan to pick up uh, with a parent and have a ride after school. All right, I don't want students just showing up at two o'clock saying, hey, Mr. Page, I'm here for tutoring. Uh, we need to have a plan in place. Uh, make sure that we have agreed on a date before a student stays af after school. Remember, tutoring time is not extra time to finish a project. Unfinished projects are considered homework. My grading policy. So my grade breakdown is projects are 40 percent, quizzes are 20 percent, assignments are 30 percent, Students do get uh, 25 points of participation each quarter for 100 points for the year. Those count as an assignment. And then bell ringers, sketch notebooks, and exit tickets are 10% uh, of each uh, of the grade. And the sketch notebooks are checked each quarter. As far as um, 
I just spoke about the 25 participation points per quarter that can be deducted for disruptive and unruly behavior. So as far as late work and uh, is concerned, completed projects and, and assignments will be accepted until the end of the nine week period with no grade penalty. So after the new nine week period begins, projects and assignments from the previous nine week period will not be accepted and no grade recovery will be permitted. So basically students have the entire nine week period to complete projects and assignments assigned during that period. If I assign a project today and say it's due tomorrow and you turn it in next week, as long as you turn it in and it's complete, I will grade it like it is not late. All right, I will not take points off for lateness. Um, I do caution my students that this policy, you can get into trouble because if you don't do your work, work will continue to build up and you might think you're gonna save everything to that last week. Uh, right before the quarter's over and just not get stuff done and just have a very poor grade in my class. The only way to fail my class is to not turn work in. So as long as a, a student is is turning their work in and I can see that they're trying, they should do well in my class. Grades will be entered into focus within 10 school days of due dates. Uh, absent, absences. So if a student is absent, they need to check teams and focus to see what they missed. Uh, when they return to the classroom, they need to speak to their uh, table partners to see if, if they had any additional questions or anything they might that might have been put out in class that wasn't put on Teams in Focus. But normally, whenever I put out information in class, I try to upload that information to Teams in Focus uh, for students who are not here that day. And then if they have any questions, um, once they know, once they understand what they missed, if they have questions on the actual work, then they should come up and ask me for clarification. Students will always have one extra day to submit work for every day absent per the district policy. But because of my late work policy, this is usually not an issue. My final thoughts. So my full syllabus has been uploaded to Teams. It is located in general files class materials. There's also a copy attached to the expectations and behavior agreement assignment in focus. So I do suggest that everyone please go in if you haven't already seen that, if your student hasn't already brought it home, Take a look at my full syllabus and it just it goes a little bit more in depth into some of the things I spoke about today. Please feel free to contact me if there are any questions now and throughout the year. Again, I look forward to speaking with all of you and don't hesitate if there's some if there's a question as far as a grade is concerned, as far as an assignment is concerned, uh, or you just need clarification. Um, will you please reach out to me on that and I will be reaching out to you both to let your students let you know that your students are doing well. And also, uh, if I'm having issues uh, with a student as far as work or things like that are concerned. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. Okay, now hopefully my video will come back on. So again, I just want to say thank you all for uh, watching this. And uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me uh, shoot me an email. Let me know. Um, and I look forward again to uh, teaching all of your students this year and uh, we're going to have a great year. All right, everyone have a great evening. Thank you.